I'm Denzel Curry, and I'm a 2016 XXL freshman. From Miami, Florida, Cary City, Dade County, on your whole black land, for sure. I remember when Ross came out, and that was the first time I seen somebody like do a music video in front of Caramart. And if you don't know what Caramart is, Caramart is on 183rd and 27th, and that's in Cary City. Caramart, Cary City, and it's right down the street from Cary City High. And when I seen that, I was like, oh shit, somebody from the house is actually like on TV. And I'm young as hell, so I'm like, damn, somebody from here made it. You know what I mean? And that just registered in my brain, like, damn, is he gonna do it? And I know I could do that shit. When I hit 16, that's when I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to do everything, but I want to blend art with it too. And that's when I just like went full, full in, like fully in. And then I linked up with Raider Clan and all that shit. And then I really started going ham. And then when we did the album, when I did my first album, which was Nostalgia 64, that's when I wanted to blend all the elements that was like, you know, that influenced me, and I just wanted to blend it and make it into my own style. And that's when it came out, like Dark and Violent, Threats, and um, N64, and that was like the lyricism. Like, I really got into lyricism at that time. I really don't think I have a genre, honestly. Like, cause I make such different music, even though it is rap. But I feel like it's totally different from the rap that people hear today. I just feel like my shit is out the norm. It is a blessing that I'm here today to be able to do what I want to do and to show people, get given a chance to show the world like who I am and what I do and like how good I am at my job, you know what I mean? Like that's also a blessing, you know? But honestly, I don't really feel like I'm a freshman because like the grind and everything, but you know, this is just that point where it's just like, okay, we recognize you, what are you gonna do? What it's gonna do for me is give me more exposure, like I said earlier. But what it's gonna do for them is probably like inspire the next person who's coming out from where I'm from. Be like, damn, he made it on the cover. He's probably gonna be 10 times, maybe 20 times better than me in the future, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like that little dose of inspiration I could give them right then and there, you know what I mean? Because I know I'm gonna make mistakes and they're gonna learn from that, you know what I mean? Like a little brother. It's a blessing to be here. And I'm gonna appreciate this whole thing. Even when I get older, I'm gonna appreciate this moment because I know there's people that get on the cover and then like, you don't hear from them like for years. Like, you're gonna hear me for years, years to come. Like, I'm not gonna flop, I'm not gonna fail. And that's one thing, but this is a blessing to get this opportunity to be here is a blessing. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that. And when I leave out of here, I'm gonna go harder so you could keep that mental note that I'm gonna be somebody or be bigger than what I am right now, today. And you're gonna look at this like 30 years, 20 years, whatever years from now, and you're gonna be like, yo, he actually said that. And I'm gonna actually do it.